is Ham Donishman, and welcome to our next series of videos for Veris' system. Today we're going to talk about the Veris' zone coordinator. Veris' zone coordinator uh, is one controller, and this one particular controller can be used in two different applications. One would be our what we call a changeover bypass system, or some people call it VVT, or the same controller through configuration, through setup on the software side, can be used for a VAV system. We will be talking about more of the architect architectural setup of the system at a later time or later video, but today I'm just going to focus on the hardware itself so you better understand the connections and dip switches and what are the things we have to do with the particular hardware itself. So this is the actual zone coordinator. We have it set up in our demo box here today. And when you look at it, obviously it's just a bare board controller. It comes in two variations. One is a bare board that you see right now. But you could also you know, order this particular controller in a panel version, which comes with a transformer. The zone coordinator itself, you have uh, multiple types of LEDs uh, on this particular uh, controller. And the heartbeat of the system, at least from the heartbeat of the controller, is this red LED and then the green LED that are next to it. And then what you have here on these LEDs down here is the communication on the, on the MSTP port and then also on what we call more of a zone uh, bus itself. So what we have a system bus, which we connecting to uh, your, uh, every, any controller that's on the, on the system bus itself, things like IOMs, things like single zone rooftops. On the zone bus is where we have the dedication or at least the relationship of the rooftop that are associated with that VVT system or VAV system, and then also the zone dampers or the VAVs. They will be underneath the zone coordinator itself and they will be on the zone bus. So continuing with that, the blue terminal here, and you see the coloring configuration we have right now, is basically your typical MSTP connection, your plus, minus, and com. com. Plus, minus, and com, that connects on your main bus itself, which what we call the system bus, and that could be connected to our Verisys uh, uh, smart building hub itself, or it could be connected to another rooftop. The brown plug right here, this is what we have as our zone bus. The zone bus, again, is MSTP, so it's BACnet. Both ports are BACnet, and again, is wired the same exact way, plus, minus, and com. And then basically in series, you will pick up your rooftop controller and you could pick up any of the zone controllers that are underneath the zone coordinator itself. The zone co uh, coordinator also has a dip switch here. And this dip, dip switch, this is where you set the address, a dedicated address for the zone coordinator. Now that particular address is for the system bus. So you will give it a identify an address that is not being used on any other devices on the architecture that you're installing, and then you specify an address. In this case, I believe this is set to address 10, and then you'll have a, a, a basically a dip switch settings that starts from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, very typical dip switch settings, and then you turn them on and off based on how you want that address setting to be. We also have what we call end line switches, and these end line switches are used based on the length of the trunk itself or the bus itself, different terminologies for communication. And uh, you will turn that switch on if you know, based on if you want to do double termination on both ends. So the zone coordinator typically starts on the zone bus as the first device and then you will have the end device to be any of the zone coordinator uh, controllers in the field. If the zone coordinator is, a, is, is the end of the bus for the main bus or your system bus, then you also turn your switch on to make that device to be the end of line. This basically covers the, the entire hardware setup of the zone coordinator. Uh, the, the last item that's on here, which we'll probably cover on different videos, there is a USB port on the zone coordinator itself, and that's right here in, next to these LEDs. We use that port to do any kind of software upgrade that's needed on the system. 
This concludes this video. Hopefully you come back for the next videos that we have. Thank you.